Hello guys, my name is Team Team Star here. Team Team Kev is in the background. Hi. Yeah, see, he's playing. He's playing weed, so you know he's playing something retarded. That's all I need to say about that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys my Formula Monarchs because I like making deck list videos of these. Um, so, um, yeah. Okay, I guess let's get started. First, I use two light and darkness dragons. I find this better at two than at three, because it's not the easiest thing to tribute for. And then I use three case, Caius, Caius, cases, Caius's. Um, I think that's pretty standard because it's like the best monarch. Uh, then let's go with. Three Ryzas. That's probably an Xbox Monarch. Um, just because I think it is. It's a very annoying because you can top deck a card when it's tribute summoned. The last Monarch I have, I use a Mobius because I dislike the back row. Yes, so I have one Mobius. Then I'm going to show you guys my frog lineup. So I use three swap frogs. I think that's not that different than most normal decks no frog monarchs it's really good discard a card to discard a water card to special summon it yeah and then you can return a frog to hand so you can also summon another one or some shit then i use two tree one frogs i think three clogs your hand too much just because it does then i use a dupe frog to search for a swap frog or tree born I find this really good because it has 2k defense and I just like to set it and let my opponent attack it and then they feel stupid because they just hurt themselves. Usually. Then I use... What's this called? Ronin? Ronin Toten? Ronin, Ronin Toten? Ron, that's what I use. I use one of these. Because you can easily remove, remove from play a swap frog or a dupe frog. You special summon it. Then last one. It's not even a frog though. It's a fish. Fish board blaster. Because it's Formula Monarchs. Woo! You know, only one. You don't need any more. Now I'm going to show you guys stuff that, like, special summons from attacks. Like, stops the OTK. Special summons. Special. Special summons. Gores. One Gores. It's really good. And then, Trigodia. That's good, too. Same thing as Gores. Just you can control other cards. It's really good. And then three battle phase. I don't think that's a surprise. Um, it's really good. It just stops OTKs and stuff. Hi. Mm hmm. When you played, did you play on All Star? Yeah. Cause these suck. These guys suck. I don't know why. Then I'm the Cubs. I used two Vanity Fiend. I didn't save. I used two. I think two is better than yeah, one. Yeah, but it was the same settings. I think. Mm. And then I use Ajinzo uh, because I dislike traps. And I also use Dark Dust Spirit, DDS. This thing is amazing. When you normal summon it, it destroys all face of monsters on the field, so it's like a mini dark hole type thing inside a monster. And it destroys all monst all face of monsters on the field except this card, so it like, clears it. And then you could attack with it, and then it gets returned to your hand when you normal summon it. So it's also good if you like set it, you like, tee hee hee, and they attack it, and then bah, everything's destroyed. And, yes, that is really good. I think it's better at one. And I also use two effect failures. I find these really important in the deck because they're very good for one-star tuners, and it's a really good card. And, okay, that is it for monsters. I use 28. So then Stand. we're going to go on to spells. I use three... Soul exchanges. I don't think this is any surprise. I use, I think, 13 tributes. 13 monsters and 8 tributes, so I'll definitely use 3. And then I use 2 enemy controllers. I think that's pretty standard. Sometimes I've seen some decks use 3, but I think it's way better at 2. 3 is kind of cloggish. And then, two Mystical Space Typhoons. I don't find that a surprise. Now I'm just going to show you guys, like, three of the main staples. Dark Hole, 
Monster Reborn, Giant Grenade. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm tired. So, we got two more cards. Uh, uh. Ice Cream Man. Foolish Burial. There's a speeding ice cream man. He's going like 40 down our street. Foolish Burial to send a ton of cards like I could send. Rhino, Toten, Rhino, Rotten, Ron, I don't know. Toten, Treeborn, or oh, Fishborn. And last one, I use a Creature Swap. I think Creature Swap is really gay. <laughs> like, I like to give them my Treeborn Frog and have that. I don't want it. And then bye, attack it, goes back to my graveyard. They take some damage because I leave it in attack mode. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to show you guys the extra deck. So, yes, there's my creature swap. Okay, my extra deck has two shooting star dragons in it. I once got both of these things out. It has very gay against Mitchell. Mitchell, you piece of cock. Yeah, Mitchell. Mitchell's and then I have three formula synchrons. No surprise, it's formula monarchs. Uh, then we got two stardust dragons. Oh, the speeding ice cream man again. There's two stardusts. Oh, Cody, shut up. Is it a home run? An armory oh, arm. Doorbell. Two black roses. I don't think it's necessary to have two, but I have it. I have room, so I use two. A gunganeer. I can do Mobius and Fishborg. Vault ruler, Archie, colossal fighter, and iron chain. I don't think that needed. Those last four needed too much explanation, so I just showed them. I also have two tokens. And that's about it. So, see you guys later.